Step into my zone, mad rhymes will stifle ya. Make them say that I'm God. God. Step into my zone, mad rhymes will stifle ya. Oh, these are prescription. Fuck these. Ordinary gentleman here. Hey. Started off with a prescription side that left here. Two weeks. It's uh, a little a little less loud than last time. Um, the four of us here. It's uh, Cy, Alex, Jeremy, and me, Yo. Tom. Uh, back in action. Hello again. We got Jeremy. What's up? Hanging out, man. I'm surprised you didn't come in with uh, any uh, food today. Anything wrapped in tinfoil no, no or plastic. empanadas. No empanadas or nothing. No Jamaican beef patty. No. No, I had peanut butter and honey right before I right when I got off work. Peanut butter and honey. Peanut butter and honey sandwich, man. A peanut butter and honey. Sa- oh, I thought you were you're, just you're saying just like just talking about that at Lenny Boy. Peanut butter. The reason you wanted to do that though is because I'm trying to stop eating high fructose corn syrup. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, just trying to shit, man. I don't want to relapse, so I'm just trying to keep the keep the weight. Relapse with sugar, or <laughs> or what are you relapsing from? Oh, oh, the weight. Yeah, the weight, man. Okay, okay. You know, uh, you know your boy's left tackle. You know what I'm saying. And you are a big boy. Big boy. Welcome to the club, man. Hey, I got love for the big boys. But no, what was what was the highest weight you ever were, Tom? Me? I don't know. I'm like I'm I'm hovering around like two ninety three hundred. So always though. I've I've always been like two sixty five, two seventy. What were you, Jeremy? Uh, I I was playing at three forty. And Jeremy does not oh. look three forty anymore. Like no, that, that's absolutely, what I'm, absolutely that's not. What, you see pictures of him when he was three forty. Doesn't look like. Him. See, I gained like thirty pounds because I quit chewing tobacco. Really? You get? Oh, you gained? I didn't. I, didn't I know. get. Yeah, because that was my like the instead oral of like. It, Yes. Well, because of, well, because of instead of like snacking and stuff, I would usually just throw a lip in, and that would that would set me now for you're like, like. Let me get gummy bears. That would set me for like an hour or two. So like that's why I I gain a lot of weight from that. But I, I'd rather gain weight than be either dead or lose half my jaw because you know I chewed tobacco for ten years. What do you What are you snacking though? Because like, always I'm asking because like when I switch my snacks to like animal crackers. Or like vanilla wafers, it was. I was able to still snack, but not goddamn yeah. eat a burger. Like, no, I, that I, was before my. I snack. do like crackers now. I'm, I'm you know, right? Because I still, I still fucking love to eat. Like I can't oh, yeah. front. It's, oh, don't get me wrong. It's, I, it's, I, I enjoy a good thorough uh, meal here and there. A but slippery uh, slope. Well, because I, I also bring that up too because Alex, as you know now, we are in the days of Lent. Yes, uh, yes, I know very well. Um. Ash Wednesday was not too long ago. Did you participate, Alex? Uh, you see, I was working that day, so I was unable to a- attend. There's no service. excuses for God. <laughs> There's no excuses for God. <laughs> Is that a, a thing you attend? I know, I, yeah, you have to go. So what's the holy? I went. I went on my lunch break to Ash Wednesday to mass. Help me I understand the, the Catholicism. What's Ash Wednesday? Uh, it's oh. basically for like. Jeremy repentance and prayer <laughs> it's a 40 day it's basically when jesus did his little 40 day crusade of in the desert <laughs> of balls <laughs> i like i like how we think we have it hard and we read stories of jesus like i'm gonna go in the desert for 40 days and eat rice yeah i was just telling alex i'm like dang it's hard not to eat till 12 o'clock every day <laughs> oh yeah your breakfast fast yeah and then oh uh, what are you doing so, uh, intermittent fasting yeah yeah who is i am Sa. for what because my uh, oh, <laughs> my Jesus. fight weight is one fifty five. Yeah, he, he's, he's walking around in his fight weight. He want to be one fifty five. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, Alex was actually telling me that originally. He was saying he doesn't eat breakfast every day. I he eat, was saying how it's better for you uh, to not do it. I eat breakfast every day. Give us your theory why. It's not a theory. It's facts. It's just but. yeah. I just don't do it. It keeps me in sympathetic mode instead of switching to parasympathetic. So I'm more alert and I'm going through the morning when I have most of my work to do. And then I can just feast at night instead. Right. I do something like that too, but like yeah. mine's more so smoking weed when I wake up. <laughs> so like, That's the same thing. That same, counts. Yeah, you That's know a, what I'm saying. It's a vegetable. I'll, I'll smoke up. I'll, it's I'll, I'll drink a smoothie or something. Casey veggies. It's a yeah. Yeah, It's a vegetable. Right. You get your vegetables in the morning, but um, yeah. So Ash, I, I you know I don't know if you guys have ever been to Ash Wednesday, but it's basically where a man just smears black shit on your forehead and i've seen people with it yeah i do have a quick story about this oh yes that i i just heard this weekend 
My mom teaches at a Catholic school. Okay. A four-year-old was asking this question. She said, so they have, like, it's always black ashes. Uh -huh. Yeah, so you can you know, have the black ashes what? on your forehead. And the kid said, well, do they have white ashes for black people so that you can see the cross on their forehead? <laughs> but, like, <laughs> funny enough, like, that's probably, like, a genuine child he was concern. Being real. Yeah, yeah, he was like, you know. It, I understand the color change. How am I going to see that? You know, how, how, do I, how am I going to know that? That's an easy explanation. Though. Right. I want my homeboy Craig to fit in with it's everybody not a, else. It's not about exactly. seeing it, though. It's about the ash. I got you. Ash just happens to be that color. Why, yeah. why are you t putting that towards Jeremy? I was staring, I was <laughs> right staring at, right in his right eyes. In eyes. <laughs> but, um, so, yeah, basically you go there, they smear black stuff on your forehead, and, yeah. and you have to wear it all day. I don't because I don't want to. Look like Twenty One Savage. Yeah, it gets in your eyes. Yeah, too. it gets in your eye. Well, it's yeah. it, you either get the presets like you get a little, uh, you get like a dot, you get like a dime, <laughs> or you get the priest that puts like the size of a potato on your forehead, <laughs> and you got to walk around all day with this. He had fat fingers. Yeah, it looks like somebody put a cigar <laughs> out on your forehead. And it's like, yeah, it, I, I, no, I've brought it up. It, it reminds me of like you know Tom and Jerry when they had the cigars and the cigar would blow, blow out, up, yeah, and it just go on all in your face. That was what it was like, but um. Other thing I bring up with it is I, you don't realize how much you eat meat on Fridays until you can't eat meat I, on I just Fridays. Want a steak. Dude, because literally all week you're like, yeah, you know, you, you want like pizza or this and that and with meat on it, and you get to Friday and you're like, awesome. I mean, you can have a cheese pizza. Can't you do like, uh, yeah, I, can't you do fish it. though? Like, I've, I know a lot oh, of yeah, Christians fish. do fish Fridays. You can, yeah, you get into Red Lobster on Friday. Yeah. It's serious. Okay. Yes. Yeah. It's it, like a two hour wait. It gets ham. Because I would. It gets yeah, it's ham. It's ridiculous uh, uh, to get into no any pun intended. place on a Friday. <laughs> pizza places, it's ridiculous. You Unless can't. you get like that Pennsylvania pizza, you know? <laughs> Garbage, you know, garbage all, all that shit. That on Quaker top ass, of it, uh, <laughs> Quaker, that Quaker, Quaker ass, world's pizza. famous old forge pizza. <laughs> it's made of Quaker it's oats. It's <laughs> made of Quaker oats. They wear the it's actual the like white wigs that they used to wear and stuff. <laughs> Alex like is it. like, this is the best pizza in the world. <laughs> this shit took ten hours to make. The old Plymouth Rock special <laughs> had it churn my own motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> with the butter churning. <laughs> It's just dough in there. <laughs> we make our cheese and everything on site. You're like, I don't know how I feel about that. Just, uh, there's women that are just jacked. I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to pry. Is there like any salt in here? Or is this literally just goat milk churned <laughs> to become like a cream? Because it's pretty bad. Like no part of it is good. That's how it goes. That's it's Pennsylvania. Yeah. They don't have salt. That's, that's what we do. It's some white people shit, you know? Shit, white people uh, do. Shit, white people do. Churn butter with sticks. <laughs> Episode three. <laughs> <laughs> like you think about it, like all those years, just uh, you know, centuries of dynasties and making the bow and arrow and the and the wheel, and people come to America and they churn butter with a stick, a giant stick. But they butter, had butter's delicious. They had pistols by then. They was like, "Yo, run up on yeah, us if you want." With zero percent accuracy, <laughs> they would have been better off shooting bow and arrows at each other than those stupid. The musket tell, tell the Native shit. Americans. People that. didn't yeah. die from oh. being shot by a musket. They died from the disease that came from being shot. <laughs> ah, that's true. Ah. At least with a look at it, tell the Alex Huns. Can, the Huns had bows and arrows so and ruined hard. people. Yeah, that's why they had to stand in a line ten feet in front of each other, and maybe you hit someone in like the knuckle, <laughs> and they died from <laughs> oh, my knuckle, and, and they died from like mange and like. <laughs> Gangrene, and gangrene, <laughs> trench foot, dysentery. R.I.P. Bob Marley. <laughs> that was cancer. R.I.P. Yeah. Gangrene, right? That was cancer. I need someone to look this uh, up. Shout outs to the Gangrene Gang on uh, Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> Is that a thing? And the Amoeba Boys. I remember the Amoeba Boys. You remember the Amoeba I remember Boys? Remember the Powerpuff Girls? I like Dexter's Lab more though. Yeah, I'm at a I'm a Dexter's Lab guy. I, was I wasn't like, a big fan of either. Sorry, what do you you just been texting this whole time? No, what are you, I'm trying to look up Bob Marley. He oh. died of, of cancer in his foot. He died of natural causes. Slash gangrene. <laughs> <laughs> I like how I was just like, uh, yeah, so, oh, I don't know why. Well, I do know why. Re First thing that oh, comes boy. up, is Bob Marley still alive? <laughs> You're damn right he is. Tom, do you remember the first time you ate meat on a Friday during Lent? Yeah, it that was rebellious like. rebellious day it's, where you finally <laughs> broke free? Well, no, it's always <laughs> accidental. Like, you know, like you, like my parents would always get like lunch meat and stuff, and they'd always be like, 
a pound of turkey or ham and then you take a slice and you're like, oh, it's Friday. Dope. I just told Jesus to go F himself because I suck. <laughs> I suck at life. What did Bob Marley say? Jeremy was right. <laughs> he was right? Yeah. Cancer, right? Some, some form. So where did you get gangrene from? I don't know. I always thought that. Hey, got it on the what he was sailing. Uh, he was too rich to die of some shit like that, man. They got they got something for it. Was he Magic Johnson? Yeah, absolutely. Is the Magic Johnson of Jamaica? <laughs> they have some point I can't die of that. Give me cancer. Yeah. <laughs> I can't die AIDS here. I need cancer. Give yeah. it to me. Get that he was the most famous Jamaican until Usain Bolt. He's I, still the most famous. He's still the most famous. Constant. All right, Bob, you know, Bob Costas can kick rocks. <laughs> kick We're rocks, We're talking about Bob. the guy who did a, a broadcast with two pink eyes. Get, get out of here. Go home and sleep. You're soft. Get he out starts of here. the broadcast. I'm a national hero. Yeah, he's always got to, like, push his political bullshit out and, and whatever. Shut up. But he, like you. But he broke the Sandusky shit, though. That was the Ooh. best interview, the funniest shit. Who Alex, tell him Alex shit? doesn't support that, though. <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> Joe Paterno's innocent. Hashtag. Hashtag. Free, free Joe Paterno. Free, 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 free Joe. Free Joe. Free Joe. Yeah. <laughs> free Joe. <laughs> Those shirts didn't sell well. No, nah, <laughs> not well at all. How many did you print? A thousand. <laughs> Alex is like, I'm going to print 20,000. They're going to blow up all over the place. He sold two and <laughs> one was to himself. <laughs> He bought both, one for his dad, one for him. Terrible investment. Uh, uh, and his, his dad bought one just because he felt bad. <laughs> he didn't want a complete loss. They're going to put the statue back up, man. They're still fighting for it. Yeah, him. they will. They I just mean, need people to forget about it. Nah, I'm never forgetting. Me either. <laughs> I'm bringing that shit Our up. Our generation is. <laughs> I'm bringing that shit up. Any opportunity I get. Any Penn State fan. Yeah, you bring up R. Kelly, I'm bringing up motherfucking Joe Pa. Um, Speaking of football. Yeah, NFL free agency. Can we talk about how horrible the 49ers are doing? Uh, can we talk about Brandon Marshall going to the New York Giants, baby? It's a nice move. Yes. But really, did you guys see the 49ers? Yeah, what you guys did? got uh, Hoyer. And we have the most expensive fullback now. Uh, what's his name? They picked Trzy- up Tober? Trzy- 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 Who'd they pick up? Janjuski. Janjuski. I don't know his name. Do y'all even use a fullback? He, he's getting paid as much as Brandon Marshall. So, shit. <laughs> yeah, what do you get? Like four years, like 20, 21 mil. Pierre Garçon makes 16 mil first year with the 49ers. Y'all breaking bank so, for garbage. So you guys aren't getting Kirk Cousins is what it's looked like. Now we got Hoyer, next best. Hoyer, he didn't win you seven games. That's exactly what I want. <laughs> Yo, how many y'all win last year? It's better, it's better than two. Yeah. I'd rather have a higher pick. If I'm going to miss playoffs, give me a higher pick. I saw a funny uh, question today. It was, uh, is Colin Kaepernick still a starting quarterback in the NFL? Absolutely said, not. Absolutely not. Yes, he is. No. No. Where? Who? No, he can still compete. Like, I would rather yeah, Tim it's based, Tebow. It's I would rather Tim of, Tebow than Colin Kaepernick. It's based off the system. If they have a system for him, absolutely. I'm with you. If Oswaller, but there's, there's no system. If, if Oswaller can get paid, the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? If Oswaller, if Oswaller yeah. is starting. And do you think they made a huge mistake by doing that? Absolutely. Exactly. So no one's going to make that mistake again. Yeah. My point is, there's bums across the NFL. Like, he is average as grits with some speed. I'm, I'm saying. Well, I, I don't know about that contract thing with Oswaller because you see how, Mike, how, how much Mike Lennon's going for? Yeah, My, what is he, 16? Mike Glenn like is 14 ass. to 16 million and or he's something? Getting, he's going to get paid to be a backup. Somewhere. Ass. The highest paid. He's going to be the highest paid backup. For sure. That's unbelievable. Would you say, so you think Glenn is better than Kaepernick? No. That's what I'm saying. Like, no, those I, guys still get their chances. But people feel like Kaepernick comes with more stuff than just football. So they'd rather go safe Glenn. And- I think just the problem with Kaepernick was is you he had that year. He became predictable. Everyone learned it. Came back next year, and everyone that was it. No, because Jim Har, the second Jim Harbaugh. Left, well, that was bad. the biggest mistake the, the Niners ever right. made in their right. life. It's the system. So if you get the right system for Kaepernick, it'll work. But uh, where's he going to work with that system? Though? No I one mean, in the. It, that's what I'm saying. No one in the NFL uses had, it. Why he won't be a starter? If any system would have worked, it also would have been Chip Kelly coming in because he's got that running offense. But Chip, but Kelly's, Chip Kelly's garbage. Too. Yeah, he's not yeah. good in NFL. I could see him being. Hurry up, hurry up. And plus, like, he really didn't do well with, with uh, black players. Like, I don't know how many motherfuckers yeah, said oh, Him and LaShawn McCoy, that whole deal when he it, was a. Bad news. Yeah, he didn't like him a lot. Like, it was more they didn't than. like each other. It was Riley like, Cooper, big deal. 
Oh, I Let forgot. me get paid. Yeah. Uh, Cooper got a big deal that year. The year I, that hate, happened. Yeah. I hate black people. <laughs> I'm gonna get my money. Like, Sign him like, for an eight year yeah, deal. Give this guy a fucking raise. Where's he from? Florida. That's where Riley Cooper. I could chill, 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 chill. It's my fault. Okay. Chill, dude. That was at a country concert. Uh, chill. Hollywood, Florida. He was just trying to fit. In. That's where I was yeah, born. He was just try- <laughs> yeah. I was born in Hollywood. <laughs> he was just trying to fit in. <laughs> you fucking know? niggers. Sorry. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. That was Jeremy. Ooh. That was Black Jeremy, black. to be specific. Fuck black Jeremy. No offense, guys. No offense. I love black people, but fucking nigga. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm we need to take a picture uh, to make sure uh, everyone yeah. knows Jeremy yeah. was here <laughs> and saying all those things. <laughs> I swear this isn't an all white podcast. I promise oh, you. Oh, man. Um, so recently, Colleen, usually I play xbox in my little i have my little setup. i don't know why i thought this is gonna go over but oh, I, no, I, you, <laughs> no you lately colleen hold on i play with i was like Whoa, lately yeah. i've been playing with the hochi <laughs> no i have my i have my xbox set up and i stream on twitch and then she watches whatever nonsense she has going on what game are you playing and Wait, hold on, but does she see it as nonsense or does she see yours as nonsense? She sees mine as nonsense. Exactly. Okay. And she's watching shit like uh, th- first of all the, the the two channels she watches are MTV, Real Housewives and VH1. How oh. about Bravo? No, no, no. no. Bravo. <laughs> no Bravo shit. She's worse no than that. Worse than that. No, she's the MTV VH1 H- shit. Like, I fucks with HD. So recently she's been on the Teen Mom. She's been watching. Nah. Is that still on? That's definitely still on. So you ready? There's a girl on there that's on her third child with their, her third baby daddy. How old? I mean, she's they're our age now, she's basically. Man, she's 45, bro. <laughs> No, What's but her name? It, but it, it, was she like one uh, of the originals? Uh, yeah, it's it's part of like the Teen Mom OG they call it, right? Um, the one that you know, Janelle. You, you remember her? It, it, she's like the main one. Always got in trouble. The mom, that, the mom, Monet? the mom's got like the Rhode Island accent. I thought you that know? was Pharaoh. I thought she was. That's the only no, one I really Farrah's know. Farrah's the yeah, one. Yeah, we know why that's the no, one. No, Farrah's the one that's uh, you know I did know. the you know. She's on Howard Stern. I only remember I remember three of them. One I don't remember the name, but it was Macy. She's the one that, because that's her, bo- the her son, son Bentley. Bentley. Yeah. That's why I remember. That's why you remember that. Pharaoh, we remember because she did a porn. Uh, yeah, obviously. And then the other one was, it was a bigger girl and she was with a bigger guy. I and know she the, was crazy. I'm thinking, oh, the dude with the beard? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She's now with like some 40-year-old but dude she from was Boston. Crazy. Yeah, they're all not, come on. They're all crazy. Macy seem but, semi not crazy. But, um, but real shit? Why are we talking about Team Mom? <laughs> we're we're just, analyzing no, the show. <laughs> I'm just thinking, like, because it, it's so, it's just so much nonsense that they're getting. And, like, all these people are like, oh, yeah, yeah but I have could, kids in my life. And you look at their life. They have this huge house. They got this brand new um, Ford SUV outside that you know they're not fucking but paying you can, for. You can, you can analyze all. All the stuff we're into now is just train wrecks. Oh, it is. Like, we love tr- watching oh, train wrecks. Uh, America loves like the just Cash Me Outside a shit girl. show. Oh, she train wreck. She's got quite. She has, a train wreck. Four, she's going she has almost four. going. She has almost four million people on Instagram right now. Because she's, yeah, she's making money, right? But at yeah. some point, it'll go away, and she will become a train wreck looking for attention. It's and just, then it's we're and on then our way there. And then she'll, she becomes a coked out whore. Okay, well, <laughs> Alex is here. Okay, well. What's going to happen? We got Jeremy saying the N-word. <laughs> Alex is calling g- women cracked out. 13-year-old. 13, 13 but, <laughs> no, but here's the thing with that. It, it, it's always. It's too young, though, to be getting all that. It's a, it's I a, agree. It's a pendulum with them. They, they get the high. She's at the high right now. She hits that low where it's just rock but, bottom. And, but the and thing then is, she gets repaid. It goes like this. You yeah, go but the back thing is we're not laughing that. with her. We're laughing at but her. This is the thing. But here's the she thing. She's got it. She has no me. She has, like, she has you don't more even know how to say us. words. She gets paid either way. But to be honest with you, she doesn't I, have more money I than it, Alex. I think, I think it's a little bit of cultural appropriation, man. I went to, I don't know how many, I'm going to how many, uh, I'm stuttering. I went to school with girls just like her. And I watched motherfucking goddamn Jerry Springer. Yeah, but. And I watched Maury. How many girls portray or act just like her? How many girls does she act just like? Yeah, but that didn't blow up till months later. To her. Because I remember, so, I, remember I told you, I was yeah. like, that video is old. I said it was years old. 
it was only like six months yeah. old. I watched the episode with Monique. But, like, so I was like, what is that from five years ago? I'm like, but like I was like, that months. video is old. It just came, it just happened to come up, and she's like, Dr. Phil, I made you famous. Well, like, she's talking shit to Dr. Like, Phil. This is, saying, this is why it looks old because Dr. Phil's cameras look literally make. <laughs> yeah, he, it's still he 2002. Does a, he does a brand new show. It looks like it's from like 06. You're like, what? HD uh, just came out 720. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Literally 720. 720p. What were you gonna say, Jerry? No, I was saying because it's like I don't know how many girls I watch those boot camp shows. Motherfuckers come in like, all right, you gonna respect your mama? She's like, fuck you, fuck you, yeah. fuck you. But I hate my mom's. I hate. I can't stand her. And they just yelling in her face and she, shit. She's the first person that's capitalizing and turning shit to like a thousand dollar venture. I don't. I don't know if she's not a millionaire. No, she's she's dude, not she, the first. Though. No, but I mean to make money off this shit. Absolutely. Acting crazy. Yes. Dude, no, plenty of people have done that. Who, who, I'm talking about little kids that was on TV acting a fool. You got to remember that we're we're literally Terrio. We're literally little Terrio. He wasn't vi- acting a fool. We're in the he viral. was just dancing, and he made money off ooh dancing. That's not a negative stigma. This okay, chick okay. was was on some foul shit. She was she already has Let like me think. I, I gotta think about it. <laughs> we're we're literally. I feel the, like this isn't the first. No, we're in the viral age here. Absolutely. Anything, anything. We we could go viral for absolutely no reason right now. Somebody just put it up and be like, look at these guys. And all of a sudden, you, you just, everything's just fucking happening. Right. You know? You know what I was thinking we should do? What? We should all just, like, film each other and just freeze and then play the Black Beatles song. And maybe uh, we'll <laughs> blow up. No, right now we got to do the Get Out Challenge. No, let's do oh, yeah, Get Out Challenge. challenge. We just right. got to sprint toward it. <laughs> I might turn. have Jeremy do that when we walk out. <laughs> Ooh, yes, let's do the it. Door. We're doing that. Jeremy's doing the yeah, but that challenge. Do two white people have to be standing behind him? Of, of course they do. <laughs> so that it's realistic. We have to make it as... Did you see that movie? Absolutely. Was it good? Yeah, it was. It was good. How, how good are we talking? I'm not going fake because motherfuckers just be wanting to say, it's the best movie ever. Yeah, right. people are hyping it up. Right, right, right. It's a good movie. I just want to see how good of a friend he had because everyone's like, you need a friend like this. Little, little, and I'm like, damn it, I need to see how Rail, good of a friend he had. Little Rail Hallery, like, he was, he was the comic relief of the whole movie. Everything else was pretty much dark. Yeah. His character was the comic relief every time. Every time he was on camera, it he, was funny. he did some funny shit. But no, like, uh, to say the least, it, it is not making racial relations in this country any better. Like, but it was still a good movie, though. Like, yeah. This shit just fucks with you. I, I, I love original screenplays. I'm all about motherfucking shit like I this. never saw Jordan Peele making that type of movie. Apparently, I don't think anybody was. Yeah, Appa- that's, I think that's what makes it better. I thought it was supposed to, like, what I heard, it was started off as supposed to be like a comedy. And then just like, just it just became dark. And he was just like, fuck it. I'm just going to keep Yo, it Let's dark. just go that's all cool. the way with it. I'm a, I'm I like st- that, though. But it's not like, it's not a horror film. It's, it's more. It's a thriller. Yeah, dra- yeah drama thriller. Yeah, it's like suspense or something. It's yeah. suspense. Like, it, like I said, I can appreciate original original screenplays and shit. But as far as right. people going, I like Tarantino films way better. I'm a little biased, but nah, it's a good movie nonetheless, man. I give him respect. It's a good movie. Um, yeah. Well, I also bring up the acting on. Uh, why is the acting on VH1 shows always the same? Even from, like, remember when I Love New York was on and <laughs> she had the, that show? That was the best shit. They all do, like, like, I'm going to use Jeremy, for example, and I say, like, because say, uh, I, I always, always on is Colleen always watches Love and Hip Hop. Mm-hmm. So it's, or it's, like, Stevie J or whoever. And, like, they're always taught, like, say if, like, Jeremy was talking, like, this girl I was talking to her, I was like, I don't know, man. She said that she was talking to Jeremy, but I thought another way. I was talking to some people and they were saying Jeremy was saying that stuff. So I'm gonna I invited Jeremy out to my show. The show is staged. It looks awful. Yeah, it's horrible. He's like, so I'm gonna have this little get together and see what Jeremy's up to and really get to see what it is what his real his intentions head. are. Yo, and then they get there, it's this stage show that's so bad. There's like four people there. And for the people who who can't see who have any cameras in here, he really did like the best Stevie Stevie J impression with his hands. Like he was sitting here doing his TV J hands. Yeah, uh, Stevie J the bird man yeah. hands. <laughs> he always does like the cusp fist. He's like, I'm really just trying to get into her head. I don't know where she's at right now, but I can't think about that. I got this record deal and I'm starting my new company. I can't even watch shows. I'm like, like you got to, man. I, it's, I can't. Like, it's, I, I watch 10 seconds and I'm like, this is just ridiculous. Dude, VH1 is a new BT. Like, they're killing yeah. it. Wait, what? VH1 yeah. is BT now. Isn't B T B Love no. and Hip Hop Atlanta? VH1 love and Hip Hop New York. There's VH, I love VH1's Steve, not doing J. new edition. Right. All right. New edition was was legit. Yeah. Take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. 
But yeah, man. Uh, my wife has me watching that shit. Like, I, I don't. I'm not captivated. I'm captivated by. It. I watch. You this, are because it's so senseless. You're just like, like, like I, I'm with you 110, percent man. These motherfuckers are fools, but they're getting paid, man. Because like Stevie J was a world renowned record producer. I don't know how many Grammys. He yeah, had. and now he's like, I don't need to do that. He's like, I don't need to do that. He has like over 10 Grammys. But yet he's like, yeah, I'm making more money and like acting a fool. I forget what it is though. I think it's the Atlanta one. Young Jock's on there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've seen where his like studio is. It's like in the middle of like an Atlanta neighborhood in like an old house. I'm gonna go off a little to the side here. Let me let's hear it. (laughs) Atlanta, the soccer team. They just got an MLS team. Did they? Who opened up the the game? Young Jock. Why? They picked Young Jock out of all the people. Yes, meet me in the trap. He had a hammer. (laughs) <laughs> and just and just slam something. I don't even know what it was. It was all gold. It was just this all gold thing. He just smashed with a hammer. Did he still, like, have, did he still have the palm in his was, head? He did. Was Ti booked or he must have? Been. Everyone, young <laughs> Doug, <laughs> young G, two chains, Migos, Migos. Everybody, everybody was booked. Everybody. So they, they had to go with the the bottom of the barrel with the Yug Jock. I guess, dude. That, he was straight two thousand five, two thousand six. Like oh, killed before it. that. Right? I know you see mm-hmm. it. Like that nah. was my shit. What was the um? Meet me in the trap. It's going, going down. down. Going he got down. two Meet like in the mall. gigantic hits. It's going down. But let's let's go back to acting real quick. Okay. All right. Me and Alex talking at Legion the other day. Alex and I. Me and Alex. <laughs> 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 I'm more important than Alex, so. As you should be. <laughs> okay. Are you in the picture of the podcast? Just answer that. I didn't design it. <laughs> oh, okay. So. I didn't either though. Okay. So we're talking. Yeah. And Jeremy had brought up that they were going to make a Mighty Ducks remake. Okay. So we were talking, who would play Gordon Bombay? It's a who tough one. Who would play Gordon Bombay? Wouldn't you just get Emilio Estevez no, back? Because no, it's a, it's remake. a remake. It's, it's got to be younger. Not, you got to. Younger. Do you have an Emilio Estevez cameo in it, though? Does he have a son? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he's definitely. He's definitely. Cameo. He's going to be. He's going to be um, in a concession stand. He's going to be school. Hans. No, he's not <laughs> old. Yeah, be Hans. yeah, how, how could he, he not be? Not, be Hans. He's not old enough for that. You're mad you didn't come up with the idea. I can make him. No, I, I can make him old enough for that. So are we going that, like? Not, are, are we going <laughs> mullet, Emilio? Absolutely, absolutely. With going the mullet, mullet, he's going to go yeah. Yager mullet. Yager yeah. mullet. Shit. Yeah, ooh, this is tough. I like it. Um, we thought who was the guy that from Captain America? Chris Evans? Uh, is that Chris? Chris something? Something like that. Is it Chris Evans? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think he would make a good Gordon Bombay. Because this guy has to be able to play hockey. Emilio could play. Yeah. you got to face Iceland. That, that's that's real serious. Though. Okay, yeah. so he has a year to practice. <laughs> yeah. he's, got, he's got a little time. He's got to work on the skating. So Chris Evans. I don't know if he's got like... I don't know because what's his... Emilio Estevez had like... He was the perfect like sass guy. Like just a- asshole to you, you know? Like... He's, He's a little flashy. He literally played a perfect lawyer in that. Like, go F yourself uh, or whatever you are. He's a go he would F- trip you behind the play. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going a little different angle, man. I'm thinking of Jonah Hill. The serious Jonah Hill. <laughs> no. no that, he's Goldberg. All right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. A he serious is. Jonah Hill face. Think about when he's serious. No. Like, mm. eh, I'm not buying it. Moneyball no. serious. Like, mm. I'm not buying it. No, I can't. Damn it, man. No. Nah. He's got to have long, flowing hair. <laughs> he got it. Yeah, but are we talking like super bad Jonah Hill, or are we talking like... That's what like, I'm thinking. No, money like he's going to have a, a weird button down, a little right. opened up. He's shaped oblong. Like, it's not... You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but Emilio Estevez was an in shape. The guy was, was trying out for the North Stars, for Christ's sake. I, I think Let's Jonah just get Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Just do it. <laughs> Gordon Bombay. What if we just get Charlie Sheen... That's what I said originally. That was my just first thought. Charlie. I was like, why don't we just get Charlie, be cheap, or Martin? <laughs> <laughs> Martin, Martin, he's, he's, he's open. I thought Jeremy was going to be like, let's get Idris Elba or something. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you the truth. No, man. I'm not a fan of English actors at all, man. Why? <laughs> they get to come here and take her jobs. Like, they get to take her build a wall. So that's go ahead. Saying. Build, a wall, build a wall against the English. Was it, um, actually, wasn't uh, Samuel L. Jackson just talking to Ebro about that? Was yeah, it? yeah, I saw About that. how um, English actors. black English actors are taking more of the roles of American. It, it, it's English, period. They get to come over here and fake all day. Yeah, even yeah. the white actors. We can't go yeah. over there and fake an English accent. Yeah. Like, Who is Bane? What's his name? Tom Hardy. Tom yeah. Hardy. All those motherfuckers are my... You got to admit, though, Tom Hardy's good. He's yeah. a beast. I mean, yeah. 
The guys, the guys, but it's hard to complain because it's not like they're doing a bad job, you know. Like even Rick from uh, yeah, from, do you from not Walking like Dead. Yourself Rick from a... Walking Dead. Even what's his name who plays um, the uh, guy Hugh... with the stick. What's his face? Hugh, well, Hugh he's Laurie English too. House. Yeah, Hugh Laurie. Name one bad English actor. I'm um, saying in a big movie. Yeah. So they're all good. They're solid. William Regal in WWE. Daniel can, Craig. Can solid. we get the same chance? That's all I'm saying. Uh, Jason Statham is kind of. Uh, uh, well, uh, hold on. Yeah. Originally, no. it's okay for him. When he first came out, he was he's, good. He's, he's he, the Mark Wahlberg he, of the English people. He was good with. Yeah. <laughs> no, he, he was good with Guy Ritchie. <laughs> he's gonna play the same thing every time. <laughs> all the all the Guy Ritchie films that Jason Statham. They were good. Lock, stock, two smoking barrels. Uh, that should be revolver. our Gordon Bombay. Let's give him a new role. Jason Statham. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell me he can't play hockey. Are, are we just going to turn the new Mighty Ducks into the British Hockey League? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> the British national team. The Iceland hockey? coach will be Jean Claude. Ooh. Or we can get a half. I like. I'd that. be scared. I like. That. What if we get a half Thor Bjornsson, the Mountain from Game of Thrones? Have you ever seen him? Absolutely. I don't watch Game of Thrones. It, uh, just yeah, look. You still have yeah. to watch his name? Goog- just Google the mountain. The mountain. And, oh, yeah. And I've you'll, seen him. I've seen yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just have him as the coach. <laughs> he only plays goalie, though. 1v1. Only, he's goalie. Yeah, that's it. Only plays go- a goalie. He covers the whole net. I, yeah, I just think, ulti- you know, it sucks. That's, that's, I, I, maybe you should, everyone should try to be British. So, I'm, I'm all about it because, like, the only person they let do was Brad Pitt. He wasn't even exactly British. He was a gypsy. But he's the only what? person. Well, what movie was Is that? Is he any bit British? No, no, no. He played like a, in a British movie, he played oh, a, oh, a okay. gypsy. What the Snatch. Fuck? Snatch, yeah. He got to. It's a guy Richie film. He got to make that fake accent, the cockey act, whatever. Yeah, cockney. cockney. But everybody else, they're like, nah, bro. You, well, that was that Irish cockney. You don't sound English together. Enough. Yeah. They don't let Denzel go over there and fake. They don't like black Yeah, people. but Denzel's Denzel. I mean. He faked a Jamaican. Wait, in what? It was some early film. I seen it on. <laughs> oh, okay. It was on WB like one <laughs> afternoon Wait, matinee. It was on channel. It was like it was like UPN. Is it? Yes. It, it was a random ass no cable uh, Those aren't Saturday. Channels anymore. No, Listen UPN's now. not a channel. WB's not. Wait, no, is no, UPN not, still? Did that become the CW? C- CW. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, the CW. Whatever's on that. What Denzel movie was that? I'm about to look that shit up now. I don't know. Just look up Denzel. Um, Jamaican. I, I, for some reason, Jamaican look up Denzel, Denzel Jamaica. <laughs> for some reason, I keep reading instead of Gordon Bombay, keep reading Gordon Ramsay. Who would play <laughs> who would Gordon play Ramsay? Gordon Ramsay. George. I don't know who would play that. George. <laughs> oh, now that we're on the topic of of movies, I watched The Rival the other night with Amy McAdams and Jeremy Renner. You know when the, they come in the alien ship and they have to determine what they're saying. They're, they got to talk to them. It's a movie that came out. Jer- yeah. Jeremy, you know that movie? Arrival? Uh, no, I'm off. I was I was looking up. The no, you, yeah, yeah, you no, keep no, looking. No, I just no, didn't. I know. found it because I didn't it? know What's it. it called? It's I called, didn't know it, so I just threw it back to you. It's called The Mighty Quinn. The Mighty Quinn. The Mighty Quinn. Sounds garbage. I don't think I've ever seen that movie. Like Doctor Quinn. Yeah, like yeah. Doctor Quinn, medicine woman, but he's the Mighty <laughs> Quinn. <laughs> but he's a Jamaican cop. He's, he, he owns Doctor Quinn. Yeah, he. This shit came out eighty nine. But yeah, I, then I definitely probably haven't seen it. <laughs> um, no, what brings me up to Arrival is, is you know that you know they come and, and we meet them and we have to talk to them. So I got, I was thinking to myself, what would George if we put George, the person in charge, to ask the alien, like if they understood us, if we can have a legit conversation right. like we are right now, he would and say, they literally All right, just I got question in, one. Like George, like <laughs> you ready for question one? Wait, you got to suck your teeth first. <sighs> Baby, aliens, baby. You feel me? You feel me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, right? He doesn't say anything yet. He's like, you know, you know what, what I'm saying, saying, right? I'm like, I don't know All what right. you're saying. You haven't said anything. Question one. Yeah. Y'all single? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Question two. Where y'all work at? <laughs> question three. Y'all ever see that Denzel movie where he act Jamaican? <laughs> Question four, where are y'all from? It's like, <laughs> George, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> that, we're, we're dead. Are, are we, is that it for Earth? If George nah, is the... Nah, uh, man. We're good, actually. We're the, we're, we're the evil aliens. Motherfuckers got to yeah, be I afraid so. of us. 
Like, or that you know of, you think. Nah, dude. Ain't You're nobody, cocky. Ain't nobody eviler than motherfucking us. Okay, first off, if they can get all the way over here, we can't get anywhere else, they're going to be a little yeah. more high-tech than us. If we still believe that there's no life in the rest of the universe other than us, then we're definitely not <laughs> the most evil. I don't think that. I still think the Earth is flat. You know what I'm saying? Stop, bro. Come on. <laughs> I I watched the video of Bob trying to explain uh, that. No, I'm done. It made no sense. I'm done. He explained it as a bowl, like if you got a a, a cereal bowl, right? Right. Flip it. Oh, okay. So if, it's still. And if he went into the other still side, semi- it still shows that <laughs> exactly. it's that's probably one of the worst things I've ever I like, heard. Yeah, it made no sense. I like Kyrie's theory a little bit better. He's more so like, fuck what I've been told. I don't. I got to listen to everything I've been told. That's what he's saying. I listen, and I get that. There's but too many facts that's, behind that's, it. That's <laughs> stupid. Fuck that. Literally, that's dumb. Th- there's a time for skepticism. Who said gravity this was a not law? <laughs> that's not the right no. time. Who said gravity was a law, man? Who told me that? Isaac Newton. Newton. The <laughs> theory. <laughs> the theory. <laughs> there's a different uh, law and theory, you know? <laughs> the guy that made it's a basketball. theory that the earth is flat. What? Nothing. I'm not gonna repeat. That. What did you say? I was just messing with Alex. What did you say? It was the guy that made basketball. Naismith. I was a yeah. Canadian. Canadian. Ball can- goes up. Yeah. Ball goes down. No ducking. Canadian guy made that shit. Is it really? Is yeah. It Canadian yeah. sport. Yeah. That's why it's why. Yeah. <laughs> he, he went to Kansas. <laughs> He's like this shit is jumping. Yo, I'm going to Kansas. Um, for this shit. On the athlete thing. Um, I, did you guys see the Russell West uh, what, Russell Westbrook? Uh, yeah, so Russell Westbrook. Russell, what the hell? What Russell, 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 Russell from the Seahawks. The Russell Wilson. Name? Russell Wilson and Sierra's uh, family portrait. Right. I don't know. That's him. I think it's future. You think that's future? <laughs> I mean, I can't see Russell Wilson's face. Why is he like he eating booty? Yeah. Why is he? Eating, he is definitely why, eating booty. Why is he eating the booty? I don't feel the, like that's it. I feel like his neck is completely like snapped to the side. You can't see it though. It's just, he's you don't just know like that. This. He's like, I hate life. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the photographer? Who set this up? He's definitely sniffing the booty. A lot of what is the, that picture supposed to tell me? His face is in her stomach. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. It's that's like not a, his kid, right? No, that yeah, that that's, she's holding. No, yeah. no, no that's the not one him. she's holding. No, the one yeah, that's inside her. Yes, really a that's a step sick, though. It is a family. He's, yeah, he he married into what? The baby she has dad. in her stomach is his. They're married. That we know of. The kid in the picture. Do you know that? Too. Were you there, Alex? There's a thing in this world called uh, being a stepfather, stepdaddy. You know, yeah, I'm just stepdaddy. But do you know it's his? Was he wearing the smart condom? What's what the hell's the smart condom? Alex, break it down for us, because yeah. you 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 were describing it as a ring. Yes, like yeah, a Nuva it's, ring. It's, <laughs> <laughs> I'll pull up what it what it does, but you you, yeah, you tell Alex, us how it works. Explain to me how a smart condom works. It, it's a ring that you use with the condom. Yeah, because yeah, at first still, he was explaining like to me, I'm like, those, ew, you use the same condom over and over. Like one of those vibrator rings, a one year get? warranty, right? It's, yeah, it comes with a one year warranty, <laughs> right? Okay. Micro USB charger. So it's uh, it's good for eight hours. What eight is hours. it? Well, now you want to know everything it does? <laughs> what does it do? Let me it hear. Track speed. Okay. Average thrust velocity. Okay. Duration. Mm-hmm. Skin temperature. Okay. Girth. Nice. Calories burned. Nice. Frequency of sessions. Frequency of sessions. And then it will. You can put it on the syst- like their system, and it'll average out who's the best performer. So you can share. There's rankings. So like you can have a friends list, and you guys yeah. outperform each other. Who's on the rankings? Squad. See, all right, this is who's this is another thing before? though. Just be this is something else to still not considering is the women finishing because like what is it? How is it ranking? Like you know what I'm saying? You could be thrusting fast as fuck. But she ain't hitting the spot. She's it's just not a, like it's not a done problem. It's it's n- it's none of this has to do with her. It all <laughs> has to do with you, dude. I was sweating. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the thing measures. It. He sweat three gallons. Yo, I need to be better. Yo, I was burning calories. I need son. to be better next time. Yo, I was going super fast. You can't jackhammer every girl. 
chill, bro. <laughs> I feel like he should be telling himself to chill. <laughs> chill, bro. Just got that. <laughs> Is this like your Yelp review of the smart condom? Three stars. <laughs> I'm going to give it a two because it's not thinking about the ladies. The and only it's, uh, it's, it's no, National Jer- Woman Day. Jeremy's one of those. Yeah. Jeremy's one of those people's like, the only reason I didn't give this product four stars is because of this. It's like, <laughs> it's the dumbest reason ever. Yeah, it's so well, stupid. My like, question is, it only comes in blue. Shit. I broke it the first time I used it because my <laughs> my dong be huge, bro. So, it only comes in blue, so I'm gonna give it four stars. <laughs> so is it is it like a is it like a, a stretch fit hat? Like, is it one size fits most? It's a beanie. Yeah, it's is a beanie. it a beanie? <laughs> yeah. Is it is it the uh, well, take an L starter pack? Well, is that I, what it's part so of? I just read it. It said smart condom. Right. And uh, Alex goes, these things have a one year warranty. I'm like, ew, you reuse it? It's possible. He goes, no, it's just a ring. I was like, that's what I'm saying. Like the ring, this like a ring you wear on your finger or around your or yep. around your dong. It's gonna be around what you think. It's yeah. I mean, how else are they gonna? Oh, do you like throw it in the rust? washer machine or you throw it in the dishwasher? Sure, like, I think dishwasher Alex. probably. It's I, yeah, I'm definitely washing it. But <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, I I yeah. hope so. It, it, or unless you, it's your lucky smart you condom and one? you don't wash it. I feel like college kids. No. This is a thing for college. kids. Yeah, it's yeah, it's one of those stupid things you get that you try out if you're a college kid. And you just all kind maybe of, kids in high school get it just to prove they're having sex. I'm I'm skeptical of the goddamn. Yeah, okay. but couldn't you just like take put it on your finger and just, <laughs> just uh, like, you know, go to it. a soda can and just be like, ow? It would still work. Rip a sex doll or like a Snapple bottle. Yes. Did you hear about the sex doll thing? No. What's what's going on, Alex? Oh, you Alex, have it on your phone, Alex. I saw Alex's eyes lit up. He's intrigued. All right, it's a brothel of sex dolls. Why wouldn't you just go to a real brothel? Uh. uh they address that in the article. Okay. Did they? Yes. Okay. The, the advantage of going to a sex doll brothel uh-huh. instead of an actual whorehouse is that it's not technically cheating if the sex is with a doll instead of another person. You're not wrong. <laughs> I, I agree. You're not wrong. <laughs> Wait, so are you going? No, no chance. No, no I'm not, not going. They don't even, you don't get a new one. It's, They're no, reusing it's, them. It's $127 an hour. I'm getting a real chick. Hundred, I'll buy that that's off. A, that's what I Spencer's. said. Why wouldn't you just go to a real one at no, that no, point? No, no, I'm going to go to the mall. I'm going to go to Spencer's. I'm going to buy one no, no. for $15. <laughs> 15 bucks. These authentic, real-looking silicone Oh, dolls. we're talking like legit. We're not talking. It's, look at the picture. No, 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 look no, no, at no. the picture. Show they me. They cost Show at least $5,500. Oh, yeah. No, okay. That looks like a real person. All right. I'm thinking like, I'm thinking like. <laughs> No, Still, it is. Oh, no, no. Still, no, that's that a, price, you might as well get a This is no. one thing that, like, men can't do. Men can't replicate coochie. Like, there's nothing. You I can, don't know. I've felt these motherfucking silicone coochies. <laughs> You've been there. This shit ain't nothing. What was there, a convention here in Charlotte? You're, I, you know, like the little. The little try them out. The little coochie bus. You know what I'm saying? You have a flashlight? Like a flashlight? Is that light? what you're telling No, me? but I had the, the. It was the whole bus. Like, it was the coot and the butthole. You know Wait, what I'm you saying? You own one? I had, yeah. It was past tense. I tore that motherfucker to shreds. Oh, don't tell us that. What you mean? I thought, really? Safe space. Really? Safe space. Safe space. Safe space. Safe space. Safe space. Yeah. Safe space. <laughs> okay, continue, continue. But yeah, man, this shit is. It's not cootie, bro. It was this is this is one of my dark times in my life. Uh, so how much was it? A hundred and what? <laughs> hundred twenty-seven an hour. <laughs> okay. Uh, Hell dolls no. will be disinfected after each oh, use, nope. and clients are asked to use condoms. Smart condom. <laughs> <laughs> you all but killing it, that thing. I was bro. killing that fake. But does it count as sex if you use a smart condom on do, the doll? Do, do you come? Is that that gray area? The numbers are still going to register. <laughs> <laughs> numbers don't lie. Men lie, women lie. Numbers don't. <laughs> I lie, Jeremy lies, women lie. Numbers don't. The ball don't either. <laughs> Balls don't. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, you know, I, actually, it's going too Even far Jeremy, with this stuff. They, they do say that they are totally realistic, both in their movements and in their feet. In their movements, are they like? Are they doing the Kanye dance? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they throwing the ass back. You're, you're, <laughs> they, they invite you to request clothing and positions for encounters. Oh hell no! This, that's too much. Hello, how are you? Would you like to have sex with me? 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 Yeah, me? Yeah, me, that's me, what I was just going to <laughs> sex, 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 sex. I, I want. They're just I, going I, I too far with this stuff. Yeah, no. And, Alex and I much. were talking about this earlier today. Uh-huh. Like robots. 
You've seen these things that they're making. They turn on a dime. They're leaping over anything. Yeah. I'm like, this is too much. Didn't you guys watch Terminator? Yeah. We know We know how this ends. We know how it ends. But also, I'm blaming women, man. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> What's up, George? Yeah. <laughs> All right, explain. We gotta have one. We gotta have one George on the show because it's like we got guys like uh-huh. Lucci that are out here struggling. What does this have to do with robots? That's what, I'm, you're, going, I'm you're there. taking it back. I'm getting there. I'm getting okay. there because right. women aren't putting out enough. These these shitty guys so makes robots. All these shitty guys. Is, He's uh-huh. an engineer too. He right. can do it. All these shitty dudes is getting all the cootie. You know what I'm saying? Making it bad for the for the good guys out here. There's some good guys out here. I'm speaking for myself too. Yeah. I, I look at myself as a good guy. Do you? I, I'm the good guy. <laughs> Stevie J Hands. I'm the good guy. But no, nah, I'm not blaming on women. Fuck that. Like these guys are creating this shit because they can't get cootie. They so they create women. Like fuck it, I can't get cootie, so I'm about to build this robot. And get these nuts so off. So is Lucci going to be like the key architect in Skynet, basically? For the <laughs> He's Terminator? the guy of Skynet. <laughs> he Lucci, is. someone's going to come for you and make you destroy your system. That's right. Speaking of Lucci, I sent Lucci some, some, some study material, man. Okay. Well, well what kind of study Was material? Was it chapter three? Is it not, safe for, is it not safe for work? Or? It's safe for work. It's, it's, it's podcast. Okay. It was the, the, uh, the Black Phillip uh, cult, man. This shit... Helps me out. It helped, it helped me look at myself like, yo, you act like a little bitch right now. Man up. That's all these shits did. Like it was uh-huh. just a, it was a series of podcasts. I was like, yo, this really helped me out. What a did lot, Lucci man. say? I don't know. It just it just read scent or scene. I was like, damn. Oh, he didn't respond. You man. can't even give me a response though. It's left on red. I'm sending you some real shit, bro. At least maybe, give it one episode. Maybe we've shit on him too much. Now he's just over it. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm coming from a real place, like a I've been there, man. I'm actually trying to be his mentor. I'm trying. I, I, I I'm not the best mentor, but I'm, I'm speaking of like for one who's like I said, you can get out this damn dry spell. It's on you. It, uh, listen, because women aren't gonna holler listen, at you. Listen, he. There's plenty of opportunity. Uh, you know, you, you can. The guy can grief all he wants. Believe me, if you really wanted to. Do what he wanted to do, he could. That's that's what that, I, was, I was the same way because I feel like as a man, you're in control of that shit. Absolutely. Like, when we go when we go out to bars, how many women are coming up hollering? That's not what they do. We no. we're there. We to are. Holler. That's nature. Right. You know what I'm saying? We gotta go hunt. We're right. we're the hunter. You gotta you gotta realize that, man. You know, for National Women's Day, you guys are real being real sexist right now. Really, oh, sexist. might be sexist. Oh, you know you are. <laughs> I was talking oh, about I, I, no, I have. I was talking yeah. about the cock rings and women coming, making sure they they, they, <laughs> they enjoy themselves. Right. I was yeah. in a reach climax. Um, I was. I wanted to bring up before. I, you know, we were talking the smart condom ring or whatever. I remember last time we cut Alex off, and he really wanted to talk about it. The engagement ring. Yes. I, yeah, I just, and now that both of you are here, really, we needed both of you here for it. I have. The, We've been waiting. What, uh, both of us? Yeah, because uh, we're now, the, you two are the only I don't, ones. I don't, Nate's not going to tell us the truth. No, Nate's going to be like, I love my wife, dog. Whitney's uh, me, my me, wife. Whitney's my wife. <laughs> hey, guys, <laughs> this Whitney's is, my wife. This is my wife, Whitney. Yeah, we get it, Nate. I Shut love up. her. I can say that because he's never going to listen to this because he never does. And, and he's always like, well, what could I be on? I don't know. Whenever you decide you want to listen to a show, what... <laughs> I don't remember what the, what, the, yeah, what the basis was of it. So what was the basis of the engage? I just wrote engagement ring, so I have no idea what it's about. Alex took a survey. Yes. It, the question it's like one of those Facebook surveys. Like, <laughs> what kind of engagement ring are you? God, no. No. It's <laughs> <laughs> the question is, a woman accepts the engagement, okay. proposes, she accepts it, takes right. the ring. Then later on, she decides to break off the engagement. Uh-huh. Does she give the ring back? Give me my shit back. Absolutely has give, to. Give me my Absolutely. shit back. Hold on. I think right. it's scenario-based. How is it scenario-based? If you cheat on if her. If I cheat on her, I, I expect her to keep that shit. There you go. That but was, I want it back, scenario. No, okay. So you don't get it okay. back no, every, no, no, that every, makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I want any, it back still. Any other scenario? But I can still make an argument even if you cheat, you should still get it back. The whole time. Right, because it's ultimately, she has no ownership of it. It's all yeah. your money. No, no, no. I, listen, I started pulling. Take a poll. I started pulling women poll? at work. Yeah, okay. I got a good demographic base here. I was asking. Well, uh, hold on. How many people? Middle-aged, elderly. They, they say usually 1,000 or more is a good poll. So how many? <laughs> <laughs> My P-value isn't that high well, here no. with the statistical <laughs> that analysis. How, how right. many Latinos how many, did you ask? How many, how many, how many women? How many African-Americans? 
Zero. No, no, there were a few African Americans. <laughs> All right, I was covering the bases. Alex, <laughs> how many how many people would you say you asked? Probably like fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, that's a good amount, though. It's a strong yeah. poll. It is. A, I do what, what I is can. He, is, right? he, is that working at the DMV here where there's 400 people? <laughs> he there. hands them all the yeah. sheet. I need you to complete hey, this. Yeah. With, this is a new thing that How we're doing at the service? DMV. Would you give back an engagement ring? <laughs> I just give motherfuckers. <laughs> it's just a personality. What do you just, think about smart condoms? Yeah, it's, it's just a personality. Here's your penicillin. Personality. <laughs> we're, just trying to, we're just trying to get to know you, you know? So, like okay, yeah. so 15 of them. What, what was the majority here of them? They all said that if it was because he was cheating, they're keeping it. Okay. They're, not, they're just going to pawn it or something. They're not going to actually physically But at the end of the, the day. Ring. But they all, almost all, to the exception with the elderly women, they all just said, like, no, I'm just giving it back to them. Uh-huh. Younger and middle-aged all said, well, technically it's a gift. Like if you gave them earrings for their birthday. It's a gift, but I would still give it back to them. Okay. Now they, what the, the elderly? What, what, they what would just give it back. They would, they would oh, just give it back. Just, no, no questions. No questions. So my next point, just goes back. is that the generation of people, or is that just your older so. and you're like, no, I, I don't care at this I think it's generation. Probably generation. The older, those older women were like, used to getting punched you're entitled to it. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that was back Never in the days. I'm not approving. I'm not. I'm not approving. That was back in the days where you came home if dinner wasn't on the table, like, you get a good yeah. backhand, and she'd Archie start Bunker again. shit. Like my yeah. was like, oh, I love, I love Those all of them. were the days. <laughs> yeah, no, that's understandable. But um, yeah, I, I obviously if you cheat, I think. But like, who are they to decide what that engagement ring is? Who are they to decide can we, that? Can we talk about a what game? a waste pawning it is? That's like three hundred. So much money. Yeah, you're gonna go. Uh, you you might as you're better. You'll probably get more money Lost trading thousands. a game into GameStop than you are to <laughs> giving a ring back. Yeah, GameStop we, will give you more because you know you're gonna go in there and that dude's gonna be with this thing right here. He's gonna look at. It. He's gonna go. Uh, you got the new Nintendo Switch? And you, that'll and, be uh fifteen dollars. No, and while he's while he's looking at it, you're like, yeah, it's um, it's you see, it's got the three diamonds. You see, and then the two on the side. It was like ten grand. The guy's like forty six dollars. You're like son of a bitch. Can you do fifty? Fuck I'll take guy. it. I'll do fifty and uh, that watch you got on your wrist. Let me get that weird clock. All right, here on you the go. wall. <laughs> yeah, that bird clock. Uh, Different bird uh, noise every yeah, hour. They just start turning into the Chuck E. Cheese prizes. Like, okay, I'll give you, I'll give you fifty and this uh, eraser topper for your pencil. And you're like, I'll a take boom it. Boombox. <laughs> yeah. Got a boombox in there. But no, that's how it is at GameStop. You go in there, you like I don't did I send that um video to the oh, yeah. to the group where the guy was like, I just a Nintendo Switch. This just came out this week. The guy and he's like forty seven dollars and the guy's like and seventeen cents. And he's like, Oh hold on, we give credit. We, we give, give store credit. credit. We give yeah. store credit. No, I don't give GameStop. I haven't given GameStop my business in about about ten I years. I never go man. there. I never go there. I go there just to buy my I always get physical copies of games, but I right. never I still don't go there for physicals. I never sell shit. I, uh, Why, I, where do you go? Best Buy? Anywhere. Target, Walmart. Yeah, I, I got it. Actually, I do usually go to Best Buy. To be Actually, I, I go to both. Because I remember growing up, like Grand Theft Auto would come out. You, you go by GameStop. There's a line the night of, right? Yeah. Right. You go to Walmart. You go to Walmart. They have boxes and boxes. Not a single person <laughs> yeah. there. I'd walk in. And be like, I'm out. Right. No, I had a game. I, I bought the wrong Halo one time from GameStop back, like I said, about 10 years ago. Hey, y'all got Halo Wars got in Halo. here. <laughs> but it was legit the wrong Halo. It literally was just, y'all got Halo Wars? It was like, it wasn't like a first person shooter. It was more so like. Uh, Halo, Wars. Halo Wars. It was Halo Wars. So that's what it really was. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I bought some bullshit. <laughs> I had the game for an hour. It was roller coaster type. And the dude before he left, he was like, You sure you want this Halo? I was like, It's the Halo, right? He said. Uh, did you play the sample? I was like, no, I don't have Wi-Fi at my house right now. My internet was off. He was like, oh, well, all right. He ain't telling me this ain't what you want. I came back like like the same guy. He's like, uh, I, yeah. I can give you. He's doing the yeah. same exact yeah. reaction when uh, you were buying it. Uh, you sure uh, this is what you want? Uh, uh, okay. He's like, uh, uh, bitch. Come back. Uh, you ask for Halo, you get like Lego Indiana He tried to give me like $20 for like, I was like, what the fuck, bro? I bought it yesterday. How long after, though? Because you could have just returned. Within an hour. He wouldn't take the return because he said, I, I broke the seal. Yeah, you, you did. <laughs> <laughs> broke this. I, that, I don't get that. If you got the receipt, you got the product. It's not, it was an hour before. Because I didn't stay that far from the mall. I went right back like, oh, shit. 
My man was right. Meet me at the mall. It's going down. <laughs> it's going I down. still can't believe that that's who opened up for that ML- the MLS team in Atlanta. Young, Young Jock. Jock man. Yeah, that was bad. You're telling me every other artist in Atlanta was booked. Does it have to be even an artist? They, they could have brought Chipper Jones out. They literally could have brought Chipper Jones brought Chipper out Ryan. there. Matt Ryan. Dude, they could have brought anyone. like anyone. S- Matt Ryan. Is he Spud Atlanta Web- guy? Spud Webb. Oh, I'm tripping. Get Spud, <laughs> get Spud Webb out there, you know? Somebody. Yeah. Dominique. <laughs> but Atlanta's <laughs> yeah. one of those weird cities, man, because like they kind of support their sports. They've had two NHL teams. They had two? Two. What was the first one? I forgot the name of the first one, but the Thrashers were the second I only know one. the Thrashers. The, the Atlanta has had two teams. This is their Are second you sure it wasn't a minor? I, I promise I you. I don't remember. the. I just remember the Thrashers being there. But like Because right. uh, Gabrick was on that team before he came yeah, to the Rangers. I, I went to, <laughs> Ilya yeah. The greatest yeah. contract ever. Yo, yep. Yeah, I went to a Thrashers game before when they played the Bruins. The year the Bruins, the last Bruins uh, NHL, uh, Stanley Cup. Uh, championship. Wait, is Atlanta like one of those cities that calls itself like City of Champions and they've only had like zero <laughs> championships? <laughs> one championship. Right? Isn't it the Braves are the only championship there? Braves in 95. Braves in 95. Yeah, because the Falcons lost both times. What about, isn't Cleveland the same though? Isn't, aren't the Indians are the only ones that have a... Cavs. Oh, the Cavs Cavs. now. Yeah, recently, but yeah. weren't the, the Indians the only ones that, or did they not no, even yeah, have Indians, that? Indians they lost a whole citywide draft. Indians lost to, the, uh, lost to Atlanta. Yeah, in 95. Yeah. yeah I remember that, that was shit. That game. I was about to cry because it was like I was a big Indians fan growing I was big up. Race, By the way, I loved uh, it. Jeremy is right. What's, what was the first one? Atlanta Flames. Flames. Was that before Calgary? They were only around for eight years. But it's, it's, the NHL keeps giving them another huh. chance. Like, I don't know how long MLS to stand there because, like. They were in the Western Division. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brutal. Can you imagine their God. travel? Could you imagine them having to travel to, like, Vancouver? That would suck. <laughs> the NHL's still like that, but that's Yeah, it, it, well, you guys in Florida get shitted on every time you guys have to travel yeah, for sports. Man, they were in the West? Yeah, man. God, that is bad. That's bad that they were only around eight years and they played Vancouver, <laughs> L.A., San Jose. Probably. Yeah, literally. Edmonton. Uh, yep. It's like it's a weird market. Like I love the city of Atlanta, but like the way to support their sports is weird. I've only been once. I liked it though. Atlanta. I, I've been to Atlanta too many damn times. I've never been there. Good times, man. Nice. It's a big city. I've heard mixed feelings about Atlanta. I think it depends what you do. I, was, I, I think that's any place. If you go to a city and you just sit around and you go to like the right, main street right. everyone hangs out in, you're gonna nah. be like, all right, this is kind of boring. Yeah. You got to venture out and go find stuff. No, the people I was kicking it with, man, they they uh, it was when Sweetwater was first coming up, so and they're it, probably they probably lived in Atlanta for right. a while, so, so like, they knew. Places. I was around, yeah, I was I was got a chance to hang around like the brewery crowd, like when the, when the microbreweries first started popping up, yeah, and and they were in the band and shit too. So I got to, I got to get a little taste of uh of the artsy of the artsy uh, side of Atlanta, man. And plus, they was like, yo, you trying to go to the Thrashers game? I was like, hell yeah. What the fuck? But, I mean, at the end of the day, I have I have no reason to go to Atlanta. I, I don't think I've ever been invited to go. I, I only went uh, once with Mill, New Year's. Yeah, it's just I don't have – not the, I, I, to be honest with you, I don't really have any desire. To, this is, I don't really like – It's cool. I don't want to be landlocked, you know, just in case we got to get up and, and get out of here. <laughs> I mean, you don't have anywhere to go here. Just in case shit got, starts hitting like the Like Wiley. Yeah, and like I, Norman. And I got to row over to – Africa, you know what I'm saying? If, if stuff goes down. Africa ain't taking nobody back. <laughs> They're all standing at the at the edge They're like, no. Get out of here. No, the arrows. Go way. <laughs> we got oh guns now. Don't do that. Chill. <laughs> M- muskets. That's, co- that's Congo, bro. <laughs> do we need to talk about Congo? Do we Remember that conversation? Con- we was it? Oh, the, uh, about the. Uh, Which Congo? The Democratic the, Republic? The movie Congo? No. no we're, we're talking. The uh, girls. The girl, we were watching UFC. First off, horrible fight. Oh, terrible, oh, horrible card. fight this past week. Well, the Mark Hunt. Mark Hunt legit. got his ass beat. That was a legit Actually, fight. Actually, they were going back and forth. Yeah, they were going. That was, a good fight. That, that was going to be one of those either way. Right. Yeah, either Mark Hunt was going to win or over. Who was the other? Who that's was what makes other, those fights good. That fight was good. Who was the other fight that was good? Uh, the was girls. The, the girl uh, fight was good, right? Um, the two girls that fought. The girls. That yeah, blonde girl she got She dominated, destroyed. though. She yeah. got destroyed. But at least the other ones were like, they were just jabbing all night. Next two. The the co main event, what the, I don't even remember. I can't remember the co main got canceled, so they didn't really. They moved it to somebody else. Rashad though. Evans was garbage. Yeah, that shit. Yeah, was that shit. was. The, um, Brett Favre. <laughs> oh yeah, Rashad Evans versus Brett Favre. Didn't he look like Brett yeah, Favre? He looked, the guy he he looked like Brett Favre. He had flab. Like, he did. Bre- 
Rashad didn't look good. He's old. I, I know, but I yeah, I don't, but he lost. You, I thought he was going to be quicker. He, that guy oh, was slow. He was fighting. He's and then but lost. here's the thing. He that guy made up for it with his technique. He Absolutely. Had, very, he had smart, he had punches. excellent technique, smart punches. That ankle trip he had, yeah. that foot trip was like that was damn good because he caught Rashad with that, uh, Rashad with that at least three or four times. Yeah, that was legit. Were y'all? But, I've seen him fight before. Man, yeah, I've that, seen him fight. Were, y- were y'all switching back and forth by any chance? To what? Because uh, CBS and Showtime had a had oh the a, boxing bro. That Thurman oh, I saw, I saw fight. The, I heard of his. Good. I was mad. I heard I was of his. Like, good. The, the one time. We don't even think to watch boxing. Right. It's and actually it's, good. It's, one, it's a great fight. It was one a, good fight all year. Dude, I, heard of his, I heard of his bang and rang. Yo, like. it was the first, even the fight before that, the, the opening card, it was sick. Like, those guys were banging, man. It see, was, like that, and the shit was free. See, like, that's free, yeah. when I like to watch boxing. Right. When but it's, like, when I it's just, Floyd Mayweather? Oh, my God. Sleep can't, fest. man. I cannot. Good Lord. I'm a that, fa- that Mayweather Pacquiao, when we watched that. We I, all fell asleep. <laughs> Every single one of us. The only the thing of the yes. was, was the guy with the Bible. The guy with the Bible that was probably this big. Right. It was the biggest Bible I've ever seen in my life. Tom's holding up his hands like it's <laughs> it a huge like, painting. It looked like the tablet of the Ten Commandments. Like, the guy was just holding it up like this. So, so what y'all think? So, do you think Connor would be able to do anything different than anybody else if he fights Floyd? Absolutely. Yeah, long reach. Gregor has a long reach. If, yeah. if he gets one, one good one. These aren't we got issues. These aren't these little ass gloves. We're talking about some. Yeah, yeah, some, I know. We're talking I about some think, twelve. To I still think you make some gloves. contact on him because McGregor's fought I don't even think way so, heavier. Man. I don't think he's gonna hit him. But when McGregor, no, he's gonna have a hard time hitting. McGregor him. McGregor sure. said the realest shit ever, and I was like, oh shit, he's being honest. He was like, fucking Floyd, I kick your ass in a real fight. Like anybody else says this. Wait, wait, fu- wait. Why? Why was Conor McGregor African? That was an African accent. That was a, yeah, that was the English African. English African. I, I never. I I fly to Ford Mayweather and I come in and I kill him. That's what he said. He, said, he told him, "I'll fuck you up in a real fight." He's the really the only person who act, is telling the truth in a real fight. He got you. Yeah, Floyd's not getting in the you octagon. Not, Floyd's not. Hell, and Floyd will never get into a street fight. A street fight. Anybody, you going down? Never. No, you going down? Never. Because I remember against an MMA fighter, yeah, he's going. Because James Tony, if he fights me, said, <laughs> if he fights me in a street fight, I'm getting my ass kicked. Yeah, James Tony did well in the in MMA. Yo, my, he took him straight down, and that was it. And I was like, this shit. And James Tony was like, man, I'm gonna fuck him up. I'm gonna beat the shit. I'm gonna overwhelm him. <laughs> he had YouTube videos for days. <laughs> he just got. I want you, Dana. I'm ready, Dana. And that was the only <laughs> fight he ever had in MMA. Yeah, like, all right. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> That he la- he's like, nah, I'm good. And he didn't hear a word from him. That's why I'm like, that's bullshit. James Tony didn't get another fight, but he let CM Punk gonna come back again. I said, man, come on, man. That's and another CM Punk's garbage. That's another joke. Can't wrestle. No, it's he, all this. It's uh, that's how be, they, that's how they bring people to sadly, the UFC. M- that's how MMA enough. is now. It's who can put up the biggest show before. Well, Sell no, the that's fight. not MMA. It's it, that's that's the UFC, UFC yeah, MO. Yeah. You know, uh, you have all these other guys, Strike Force, and everyone else. I mean, they they're all doing. It's but, not about the but, fighting. But anymore. Dana, Dana, and UFC, they modeled herself after Vince. In all honesty, absolutely. So it's about selling tickets. Like, why would you not? I mean, yeah. Vince McMahon's been controlling WWE for how long, and and it's still relevant. Right, sold out every so, night. I, yeah, I've been to wrestling. I, you've been to one recently too. Yeah. Like sold out. Wrestling People going eight. Wrestling yeah, no is lit. Like I don't know the storyline anymore. Besides Triple no H, no one does. No one does. I don't know. Literally, people screaming for one guy. <laughs> That guy goes down. They start screaming for the other guy. <laughs> Everyone's just hype about anyone that's doing good. They drunk. Right. Is titties. Ray Mysterio. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we're winding down here. Oh, so man. just yeah. I mean, we, yeah, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll save the Congo. Comments. Yeah, we'll save the uh, Congo and the um, African Conor McGregor for <laughs> next time. But uh, I'll fuck you, Flo. I'll fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that was actually from uh, the Associated Press that was recorded live at a, at a presser. It was a live interview. <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, thanks for coming. Uh, you can email us at ordinarygentleman1 at yahoo.com. Uh, search Ordinary Gentleman Cast. At, um, it's on iTunes, YouTube, um, SoundCloud. Yeah, yeah, but did you check the emails? And Spreaker. I check the emails every single day because it's linked to my phone. I got to talk about this every time. 
And also, we're lo- going to try to look for a new name change here at some point. Yeah, we need ideas. Um, we're struggling. Ideas, obviously, we're going to be... Uh, oh, you said... You, when you we're going to be melting pots. It's just, uh, it's just, it's just weak. It, it's... I don't know. But we'll um, suggestions by email. Yeah, suggestions by email or a comment on anything. Um, today was uh, Cy, Alex, Jeremy, and me, Tom. Appreciate you guys. Peace. No, that's... <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck it, black girl, black girl.